tell y'all something about me. People come to me and express any type of self-doubt, self-esteem issue, insecurity, anxiety, depression, or any of that type of thing to me. The first thing I tell them to do is go to the gym. I don't care what it is. If you come to me and you got a problem, I'm going to tell you to go to the gym, to the gym. And <clears throat> it's a lot of different benefits of going to the gym, but the main one is this. You know, I say with my my wife for example, right? My wife has the tendency to get a little anxious from time to time, particularly during a period of time where it's like contract like a, a period where she's looking for a new contract or something like that, right? And particularly this time, it was a little more stressful because she was looking for a specific area that she wanted to work in and she was having some trouble like tracking a, a contract down in the area. But she got to the point where she was starting to get anxious and, you know, getting a little antsy. And she didn't know where to place that energy so it started affecting her her moods so every day i was telling her you need to go to the gym every day you need to go to the gym you been to the gym you went for a walk you got on the treadmill you need to go to the gym you need to go to the gym so much so i had to go ahead and explain this to her man <laughs> i'm not trying to say you fat by the way you know that's what i had to let her know i'm not trying to say something without saying it. i'm just letting you know that when you go to the gym, it, it's a lot of benefit in it. The main benefit for me though, is like when it comes to people that have insecurities or, or uh, low self-esteem type thing, like what I used to have. And from time to time, I still have a little bit of insecurities that come into play. But the main thing, the main benefit or the biggest benefit to going to the gym for me is that it's the easiest way to track progress. It's the easiest way because there are so many different things you can do to see where you're progressing at. Like me, for instance, I've been going to the gym for 59 weeks. And the reason I know this is because I track, I, I write down in a note, in a notepad in my phone, every day that I go to the gym, what week I'm on, what exercises I did on that day, what weight I was lifting and everything. And all of those things give me the ability to track my progress. The reason I'm talking about this really is because yesterday I lifted the most weight I have ever lifted out of the whole time I've been going to the gym. I've never lifted above 200 pounds before. You know, I, you know, I, I never really was intending to go to the gym in order to just get the strongest. I, all I cared about really was how I looked. But then when the pandemic hit, I stopped going to the gym because the gyms were shut down and I gained a bunch of weight. So I had to start my progress all the way over. But I've been going to the gym now for 59 weeks straight. And I finally got to the point where I was able to break the 200 pound mark. And check this out now. This is the funny thing that your mind does to you. I did, I lifted the 200 pounds in my fourth set, right? And I was lifting like 180, like 12 times or something like that for the first three sets. Then some just said, man, I'm finna try to see if I can lift over 200. I put some more weight on. And boom, at the end of my workout, I lifted it like five times, five, six times. So you know what that tells me? I could have been lifted over 200 pounds. I just had it in my mind that it was something that I couldn't do. But I gradually worked my way up to the point where I was able to do it. Just mentally, I didn't think I could do it. So that's another benefit of going to the gym. It'll show you that there's things you can do that you never thought you could do. I just, 
you know, one thing about people, like I say, we're goal-oriented people. We need goals. If you got some issues that you're dealing with as far as, like, how you see yourself, you're having a lot of negative self-talk, and you're not a disciplined person, and you're insecure about certain things, I'm telling you, it's, it's the best place for you to be is the gym. You're going to have so many mental benefits to it. Just think about it like this. Most people that's overweight, they, they, they're nervous about going to the gym because of one thing, this main thing right here. They're going to go in the gym and they're going to see all these people in their minds. There's going to be a whole bunch of people in the gym that's in shape already. They're going to be swole. They're going to be ripped up. This girl going to have a nice nice bud. She's been doing the squats. This dude over here going to have the big arms and chest. And you're going to go in there starting at ground zero. And you think in your mind you're going to be the worst looking person in the gym. You're not going to know what you're doing. You ain't going to be able to lift a bunch of weights. You're going to be looking like a fish out of water. And most people do not want to put themselves through that. It's because it's too uncomfortable. But that's the first step. Just start going in the gym. If you can make yourself get up out of your bed every morning and go to the gym, you're already making progress before you even lift it away. After that, just start tracking your, 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 the stuff that you do. Track it. If you walk 30 minutes every day, start or not, increase it week after week. Go to 40 minutes. Go to 50 minutes. Go to an hour. After that, go do some abs. You know, keep just keep mixing that up. Walking in abs, walking in abs. It's all about progression. It ain't about knowing what you, knowing everything about going, I mean, about working out when you go to the gym. And I'm telling you, once you build these fundamentals and once you get some some uh some uh confidence, because this is all that's gonna build confidence. Once you get to the point where you've gotten your your confidence level up to like a, a way higher level than what it is now. Let's just put it like that. Then you're going to feel better about stepping out of your comfort zone in other areas. Trust me when I tell you. I've never, I mean, I played sports when I was young, but I was never the type of person to go to the gym and work out. I can tell you this. Going to the gym has been one of the single most, the, the biggest part of my life that I, the biggest thing I added to my life that created the most change. There's a period of time where I was telling y'all that I had to do, I had to work on myself to prepare myself for being married and, you know, being a husband and stuff like that, right? But I had a lot of insecurities. I was just talking to my wife about this last night. I had a lot of insecurities that I was dealing with. So, working out, reading, and all that other kind of stuff was something. Was some of the things that I had to do to build myself up enough to where I felt comfortable even approaching my wife with the the uh, with the you know a proposition in her with us dating, <laughs> like coming to her like, hey man, listen, I like you, I love you, I want to be with you, so on and so forth. All of those things have, are, you know, played a big part in me even having enough courage to come to her and say that, you know, because I had a lot of issues that I had to work out. But I don't know. I just wanted to say that to y'all this morning, man. A little bit of Monday, uh, Monday motivation, I guess you can call it. I have. Um, some other stuff I wanted to talk to y'all about today, but I got really sidetracked because I'm running real late. And uh, I just didn't want to let a day go by when y'all ain't hear from me. So this is my message for today. Go to the gym. Start working on yourself. Build your confidence up. You know? And that's all I got to say about that. I'll see y'all on the next one.